if there's one motion design technique that applies to everything, it's easing. That's what gives objects their wobble, their bounce, and makes rigid, lifeless animations like this feel more natural and real like this. So let's look how we can liven up your motion graphics with easing. Let's jump into all the theory with a bit of animation one-on-one. -on -one. The basics of animation is having a property, be it scale, rotation, position, whatever, and then setting keyframes for two values at two different points in our timeline. As time progresses between those two keyframes, the value changes in a process called interpolation. If we graph how the value changes over time, we can see it creates a straight line. But if we watch the actual animation, it seems very rigid and unnatural. That's because objects in the real world don't move like this. Weight, inertia, and resistance all influence everything around us. And so, to make our animations feel more natural and more real, we need to emulate what these forces might do to our graph. This is where the power of easing comes in. Easing changes how our value changes over time. From simply being a straight line, it warps it, kinks it, so that even though our value is still traveling between the two keyframes, the results are a lot more dynamic. When we talk about easing between keyframes, we have three options. We can either ease in, which only affects our value as it moves from the first keyframe, ease out, which affects the value as we reach our second keyframe, or ease in out which combines the two. You can see how each changes our graph in a different way. The second half of our terminology for easing usually references the shape of the graph. There are many ways to describe this and most do the same sort of thing. So understanding exactly where these names come from isn't all that important. However, there are three that are worth noting. Back is when the value goes slightly over the intended value and then returns. You can see it gives the line a little bit of a hump. Elastic, also known as overshoot, is similar but has a decaying element to it. It gives us nice wobble. Finally, bounce is pretty self-explanatory. Think of a ball, it's hitting that hard value and then bouncing away from it in a decaying fashion until a settling on that final value. Now all of these can apply when easing in, easing out or both. Practically, there's a few different ways to create easing in Create Studio Pro. There is quite simple to apply easing in Create Studio Pro. It is very intuitive and simple. You just select the element, you add an animation and select one of the easing options, and then you just choose one of the three options I mentioned earlier. Ease in, ease out, or ease in and out. Another aspect that affects easing and bring different animations on the screen is the time length of the animation. The time between the first keyframe and the last keyframe of the animation. One more thing I would like to uncover for you is that you can extend the last keyframe of the animation beyond the time length of that element that is about to be animated. Just extend the element length, then extend the animation by dragging the last keyframe as much as you need and after that you can simply grab the right side of the element and trim it back to your desired time length. Finally, applying expressions or scripts to your animation simplifies the easing process again. Dan Ebert's motion script site has some great expressions for bounce and overshoot and goes into much more depth with how to use them. The link to that page is in the description below. I often use easing when working on client projects or on the templates available in my marketplace. Speaking of which, I have a template marketplace where I offer a wide range of templates for various occasions and purposes. These templates are meticulously organized into groups and are incredibly user-friendly for editing. If you're interested in exploring all the templates, feel free to check out the link provided in the description below. Additionally, I have a dedicated page where I offer free templates for you to just download and edit yourself in your Create Studio software. Saying all that though, the best tool really is your own eye, as you can tell what best suits your needs for your animation. So that's an overview of easing, the different types there are, and the different ways you can apply them to your animations. Visit easing.net for a quick reference to the various types of easing. The link is down below, and leave a comment with your favorite one or favorite ones that you use. Until next time, my name is Vic. Thanks for watching.